In last episode, we built a windmill, a dock, and then also worked on some smaller decorating projects around the base. And in today's episode, I would like to go exploring and then finally build that cabin I've been meaning to build forever on top of the skeleton spawner. I have all the supplies that I need for exploring and I think I want to start exploring out west because we haven't really been this way so I have no idea what's past that mountain pretty much. And we actually get to use our dock like an actual dock in today's episode. When it comes to exploring I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last time. I'm not really going to work on a filling in the map. I'm just going to use the map as a guideline and to mark anything or remember anything that we saw that was interesting. So, so far it just looks like we have lots more mountains and it looks like we're probably going to have to get off our boat here soon. Those are some really, really tall mountains and also look at all of those ores there. And also it looks like maybe that's a meadow because I see those little flowers there. So that could perhaps be a meadow. Ooh, so pretty with all these flowers sprinkled everywhere. Maybe we'll find ourselves a donkey. I'm not really in the position to take one home right now, but I love the donkeys in the meadows. So maybe we'll be able to peep a little donkey. Ooh, and this birch forest right here. Imagine if the birch forest update actually happened. That would be a gorgeous view. This really makes me want to start our flower fields that I've been talking about because imagine just a ton of these flowers just sprinkled everywhere over a hill or something back at our base. That would be so pretty. I need to put that on my to-do list. I have so many small projects that I want to do around the base. Lots and lots of birch and more pumpkins. Oh, and a little baby brown sheep. Hello, baby brown sheep. Oh, and a zombie. I'm just gonna run away. Time to hop back on the boat and see what's over this ocean. Look at this massive hole here and like this little waterfall that's just running down. That's pretty cool. Lots of mobs and ores. It's just like this giant crater. Whoa, look at this massive ruined portal. That is huge. I'll definitely take the gear out of it. Wow, that is so cool. Now, one thing that I completely forgot is to grab a bed. I'm not sure how that slipped my mind, but it definitely did. So we are going to have to craft ourselves a bed. It feels like day one of Minecraft again. Said that didn't even craft a bed, day one of Minecraft. Okay, we're good to go. We have a bed and I've pretty much hit the other end of the map. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start traveling north and see what's that way. I would love to make a pumpkin patch especially now that fall is coming up. I wanna make a pumpkin patch so bad. So maybe I'll take just a couple of pumpkins home with me so that I'm able to create my own pumpkin patch. Okay, looks like we've reached a savanna, which is always a good sign whenever we can find some warm biomes because we are more likely to find a mangrove swamp biome whenever we can see some warm biomes, I'm pretty sure. However, that looks like the smallest savanna ever. Interesting. Yes, definitely the smallest savanna ever. All right, okay, I see how it is. Though we don't have any acacia saplings, so I wouldn't mind grabbing a couple actually. I've never really built with acacia wood before and I'm not sure how it would match with our base, but I don't know, maybe I'll use it in the future. I feel like it could fit with like a very fall time build or something since it is orange after all. So maybe I can figure out how to use it because I feel like my builds are starting to look very similar using all of the same kind of blocks. So I really want to start stepping outside of my comfort zone a little bit. We have three acacia saplings and I believe that should be enough. It looks like we found ourselves a pillager outpost and that means that we could possibly find some alleys. Oh, and it's all on fire. We love to see it. I'm getting shot out in the first place, but I'm pretty sure the alleys are supposed to be inside of these cages, but it looks like we have an iron golem here and I didn't see any alleys. Leave me alone. Easy peasy, piece of cake. Ah! Oh yeah, we just have an iron golem, but we don't have any alleys. That's sad. I would really love to find an alley. Iron golem, save me. Save me. Oh yeah, get him. Get him. You can get out of there, right? 
He's just letting himself get killed. He doesn't even care at all. Okay, there you go, finally. I guess I'll take a quick peek at the top. I know the loot is not really good in these places, but might as well take a quick peek while I'm here. Okay, let's see. We have ourselves some care. Oh, I totally forgot that we could get these go horns. No way. Okay, I feel like this is probably the lamest one that we could have gotten, but... We have ourselves a very first go horn. That's so cool. I completely forgot that that was a thing that we could get. I am pumped, let's go. Enough of that adventure. Let's go ahead and continue exploring. It looks like it's time to get back in our boat and run away from them. And I'll just keep on heading north, which is that way. It looks like there's some more acacia that way. It's technically going to be off the map, but I think I'm gonna look this way. Okay, is this going to be the smallest savannah again? Maybe a little bit bigger than the one that we found earlier, but it doesn't seem to be that expansive. But we do have a pretty good view of the ocean, I guess. Okay, well, I do kind of want to explore a little bit more north this way, just because I think this is a warmer ocean and I would really love to find a better jungle than we found earlier. And then also, of course, that mangrove swamp that we've been looking for for a while now. So back on the boat we go, headed north, and hopefully I find something cool. And would you look at this beautiful coral reef? Wow, this is so pretty. I definitely wanna swim around in here because that is so gorgeous. Oh, it's so magical. I'm so glad that I went this way. I will definitely want to take some of these sea pickles. I think that they're such a good addition to lots of different builds and terraforming in ponds and things like that. And also I want to make a pumpkin patch and I think that they make really good stems on top of pumpkins. I'm glad I went up this way. This was definitely worth it. I've never really built with coral or like any of these kinds of plants. I don't really know how they work, but they are really cool and interesting. Though if you do keep this coral out of the water for too long, it dies, right? I think that's how that works. Here are the coordinates for that coral reef, by the way. And then we have more savannah this way. So I will probably look around in the savannah and if I don't see anything interesting around here, then I'll probably just start heading back to the base. Though this savannah seems to be a lot bigger than some of the savannas that we found earlier. Oh, and we have ourselves a donkey. Hello, donkey. Ooh, and a village. Okay. We definitely need to find ourselves a desert for all of our sand needs, especially in the future, whenever we may or may not be using TNT. And then of course for glass and also for rockets. Ooh, and a jungle! No way! I'm so excited to have like an actual jungle. I think that jungles are one of the most unique biomes just because the trees are massive and they look so good along the skyline. Oh, and so many bees. Oh, and some melons. I don't know if we actually have melons, but I will take a couple. Thank you for your melons, villagers, after I discard my trash in your village. I'll just do a quick peek around and see what kind of loot they have. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna do a quick peek and see what loot they have, but I'm not going to do any major looting of the village, I don't think. Now, I want to look over near this jungle just a little bit. Wow, it's just, jungles blow me away. I just think they're so cool. And I think that we'll be able to find bamboo here in this jungle too, which is really cool because that one jungle that we found was super lame. And I think that this one will actually have some bamboo somewhere at least. And of course, some little cocoa beans too. I guess I'll take some cocoa beans for myself. Yay, cocoa beans. Oh, and there's some bamboo right there. Bamboo has been acquired. That will be enough to get us started with like a little bamboo farm at our base. And it seems like it just turns back into a plains biome. Ooh, and Okay, maybe some acacia, maybe a desert. I am going to continue exploring. I'm on a roll right now. I'm finding really cool things. So I just want to keep on looking. 
I always thought it would be really cool to have like a mini base in some of the really cool biomes, like a mini jungle base and a mini swamp base and maybe even a mini nether base and have it themed around that biome. So if we had a mini savanna base, for example, we would use a bunch of acacia wood because I feel like that would get me outside of my comfort zone of just building with dark oak and spruce. And then if we had a mini jungle base, we would have to build with jungle wood and I never build with jungle wood. So it would allow me to build with things I don't usually build with. Oh, yay. And we have officially found a desert, our very first desert of this world. Oh, and there's this lone red mushroom over here in this acacia. Hello, little baby red mushroom. And I think I'm going to take some of these cacti so that we're able to actually get green dye because we haven't been able to make green dye. Oh, this is so fun. There's more coral reef over that way too. I've been traveling this desert for quite a while and it is pretty massive. This desert just keeps on going and going and going. It is so big. Oh, and it looks like we found ourselves a Badlands. Wow, I'm so glad that I kept on going. That desert was seriously so big, but here we have a Badlands. And it looks like over there we have ourselves another pillager outpost. Cross your fingers that there's good loot in there. So far, I'm not seeing a ton of terracotta, but my hopes are still high and we can definitely get some terracotta here and start building with terracotta. I rarely build with terracotta, I feel like. I kind of just forget that it exists and sometimes it's really hard to find a Badlands. But I see some more mountains over there with a the terracotta. So cool. Okay, let me eat first, get away from me. Okay, cross your fingers that we find an LA. It looks like that one has an iron golem in it. Or maybe we'll find a better horn, a better goat horn. Okay, not in this one and not in this one either. Wow, okay, I don't want to kill you though. I can't believe we found two and we haven't seen a single LA. That's so sad. Okay, banner people, there's like three of them. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you, leave me alone. Where's the entrance of this place? I do want to look for a goat horn though. Ah, uh, no goat horn, but... Efficiency five, I will take it. This view is so cool. Okay, believe it or not, I'm going to continue exploring. I think that I need to go this way. I don't know, which way did we come from? I think we came from that way. So technically, if I were to continue, I would start heading this way. I think I'm gonna go over here by the desert and then we'll see what we find. And here are the coordinates of the Badlands. So if you want to look for it yourself, there you go. It looks like we have ourselves a village and then more Badlands too. I don't think I'm gonna loot the village because honestly, I'm not too interested in any of the loot. And also my pockets are pretty full. Wow. Okay, this one is so much better. Minecraft just continues to amaze me. It is such a cool game, such a pretty game. I need to create some kind of nether highway system so that we're able to go to the desert and also this Badlands just a little bit easier because this is a really far way. I've been traveling for a very, very long time now. I'm probably so far away from our base. And also whenever I have an elytra, traveling will be much easier as well. It's just whenever I see another warm biome, I have to keep on going because what if right around the corner there's a swamp biome and then I don't find it because I gave up and went back home and then I'll be sad. So I had to keep on looking. I turned up my render distance way, way too high just to see if I could find anything else without actually having to travel over there. And it seems like I'm not gonna find anything. So I'm gonna turn the render distance back down before my game crashes or something crazy like that. There is a jungle that way and more acacia and so many more warm biomes and I so badly want to explore over there. But I think that the best way to explore will probably be with the elytra whenever we get it because I'm not finding the mangrove swamp biome. I've been exploring for about an hour now and we found lots of good things so I'm not complaining but in order for us to actually find the mangrove swamp biome, I think I'm going to do it with the elytra. So I'm going to head back to our base and if I find anything cool, I'll definitely let you know but... I think I just need to head south from here and I'll probably be on the map, you know, in maybe like 30 minutes.
Holy moly, that is a lot of coral. Oh, and I found an ocean monument. Okay, that's cool. And it's actually on the map, the ocean monument is. Wow, that is a cool find. I have never, okay, I'm gonna get away because scary, but I have never, ever, ever went, I've never even been inside of an ocean monument. It kind of terrifies me, uh, but you know, there's a first time for everything. And here are the coordinates of the ocean monument, if you were wondering. Home sweet home. And you can actually see our library from here, which is pretty cool. Now that I'm back home, I'm going to clear out my inventory. Again, here's all of the good loot that we got while we were gone. I'm most excited about the sea pickles, the goat horn, and then of course the bamboo. And also the cocoa beans are pretty cool and the efficiency five book. Now, after a fairly successful exploring trip, I would like to go ahead and get to building that cabin on top of our skeleton spawner room. And here we are at our skeleton spawner drop off. I'm going to place the cabin pretty much right here, maybe facing out this way. And here are the materials that I would like to build with in today's build. I'm definitely going for the more darker tone blocks because for some reason, darker tone blocks just feel more cozy to me. And this is a cozy little cabin in the woods. So I need to get to clearing out this little area, probably do some major terraforming because the terrain around here is a little bit crazy. But enough of the talking, I'm going to start clearing out the land and start getting the build in. Here we have our cozy cabin complete. If you can't tell, I really, really am enjoying these roof shapes. I've used them quite a few times in my world so far. And I know that you didn't get to see the sides and the back. So I figured I would just show you what it's looking like at the moment. I still have my mess laid out here. And here is the back. And I really enjoy working with not perfectly flat terrains because then you get different levels. I know it's not much, but I feel like it adds just a little bit more variety to your builds. And then here's this side. And this is just like a little addition to the cabin that I figured would be like a little woodworking area or just some kind of workshop. And I just cluttered it up with some little chests and like furnaces, don't cutter, and like these little fire pits. And then if we go on to the inside, this is what it's looking like now. We have like a little kitchen area with, of course, our mossy rug and a storage system kind of built into the staircase, which I thought looked pretty cool. And then up here is kind of the quote unquote bedroom, even though that, you know, it's very tiny. But I think it turned out really cozy in here. I think that adding lots of clutter to your builds definitely makes it feel more cozy. And then of course, if we go inside of here, this is just the drop down and then the up. And I actually only fell down that hole a single time while building, believe it or not. And then of course you can just go straight back up and that's kind of how it works. So yes, it's a very functional build, but I do think it turned out really cute and cozy still. And I love how we have a bed up here because every single time I'm done with the skeleton spawner, it's always nighttime. So now I can sleep before I go back to my base. And I also planted some big spruce trees kind of behind the house just so that we have a little bit more of a skyline kind of. It was looking really flat, so I wanted to add a little bit of a variety with the skyline. And then I just left the puzzle here because, you know, I feel like it kind of makes sense. So of course I made it quite a mess and I of course have to clean that up. But I think the next thing that I want to start working on is a pathway going from the cabin all the way to the base. The goal is to be able to ride my donkey over to the skeleton spawner farm without having to deal with trees and crazy terrain. Right now the terrain is looking just a little bit crazy and I figured that linking up the skeleton spawner to our base would kind of connect the two just so that we don't have like this random build in the middle of nowhere. I still kind of want it to feel like it's part of our base, you know? 
And I think that the path will come out from here, over here by the library. I'll kind of just continue it this way and go all the way back there. I do think I'm going to create another diamond shovel because making pathways depletes the durability on your shovels so much. So I think I'm going to use this shovel instead of this one. I really need to work on getting mending on all of my equipment. I am pretty much out of core stir and I'm definitely going to need some core stir to make this pathway. So I think that I'm going to try to collect some gravel somewhere or maybe I can just collect some core stir over at that one mega taiga biome. I got about two stacks of course dirt, so that should get us started for now. But look at the view of the cabin from here. I love being able to see the smoke coming from the chimneys and there's the village actually over there too. Okay, and so the path journey begins. I really want to try to stay clear of this crazy terrain here because I don't want to have to fill it in if I don't have to. And then I also want to leave as many trees up as possible too. I don't really want to have to chop down a bunch of trees. So I think I'm going to start this way and then I'll curve around this terrain. I have the path mostly in, but before I walk down it with my donkey, I think I would like to build this custom tree that I was talking about in last episode. So it's just going to be one of those skinny ones that I built over here in the little spring, kind of like that one right there. Nothing crazy, but I just wanted to give it a go and see if it makes the place look better. It's definitely not perfect, but I think I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I do think it adds a little bit to the area. Yeah, I'll leave it for now. You know that feeling whenever Minecraft days just fly by? That's how I'm feeling right now. Like, I swear I just slept. And now we're sleeping again. Now it's time to get our donkey friend and go down our new pathway and make sure that we can actually go down it with him. And I put a little chest on him and look at him. He looks so snazzy. Uh, he did run into the berry bush though, but he's going to be okay. Oh, oh, oh. Now, if you've ever ridden horses or donkeys or anything, you know that they are a little bit finicky to go through a forest because you always get stuck in the trees. Oh, and the sweet berry bushes. Oh, okay. Um, and any fences and all of that. So I just want to walk down the pathway and make sure that I'm able to actually go down it with my donkey. I am sorry though that you've already lost two hearts. I'm sorry. You know, just have to break a bunch of leaves along the way in order to actually go down the pathway. But I just did my normal pathway like I always do. So far, it's not perfect going up this pathway with him, but it's working out for the most part. Look at his little legs. They're going. Okay, but we made it. And then I can just hook him up to the fence with the lead. And then we can just ride him back to the base whenever we're done with our skeleton spawner. But I think that's about going to do it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about the exploring episode. And also, if you have any donkey name suggestions, then definitely leave them down below because we have still yet to name our donkey friend. In next episode, I definitely have to get back on our villager grind and start zombie curifying all of them. So maybe I will be building our brewing tower. I don't know. We'll see. But feel free to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.